It's a difficult one to sort of sum up because there's an awful lot of laughs in there. There's, it's, it really is funny. I hope so. And it, it really is, you know. <laughs> but then it's, it's something else as well, you know. It's, it's, yeah, it's difficult to kind of... Yeah. It's dark. Um, yeah, I mean, Barney's uh, he's a kind of hapless, middle-aged... Well, <sighs> middle-aged. 54, <laughs> 54 middle-aged. Middle middle I'm okay. 55, that's okay, fine. OK, fair enough, he's middle-aged. <laughs> Uh, but he's he's kind of a, a, you know he's a cro no not in a crossroads of his life he's like almost at the end of his life he's mm. completely he's not as he says I've not had my kick at the ball you know right. what I mean so you find him at this 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 part where he's probably going to lose his job in the barbers and that's all he's got he's got nothing left and he's got a mother who's as a, again as Barney says is sinking her claws in like an old buzzard yes and, we saw that um, he's, he's kind of he's suffocating you know yeah it's a sort of laughter ensues because mm. of it. And, and it does take a dark turn as well as we as we as it we certainly know. does yeah yes it was really interesting for me because i was i grew up in bridgeton which where is a lot yeah. of it is obviously set yeah, and it's so authentic you know it really thank is you. thank you it was important to originally uh, the the script wasn't set anywhere at all really you know it was not a like particular place and uh, i i came from paul Madee, which isn't too far away mm. from Bridgeton. Yeah. and um i was kind of thought well bridgeton cross would be great i always kind of liked the look of that place yeah, around yeah, there yeah. So when we found the location, everything kind of spread out from there. And similarly with other kind of landmark places in Glasgow, like the Barrowlands, and there's a few shots of that that you see. There's also Shawfield Dog Track oh, and uh, the horrible, horrible Red Road Flats. Yes. And um, these were kind of deliberately picked by myself because the, uh, the, all of these places are kind of in, in danger of, 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 of going mm. completely. Sarry Head Pub. Oh, of course. All of these yeah, places yeah, are kind of like, you know, it's, for, from the Red Road Flats point of view, it's great that it's gone because it was a disgusting, evil place. It was horrible. A horrible absolutely. place up there. Um, but the rest of it, you know, these kind of, um, the dog track, etc., etc., these are things that are kind of um, important to me in mm. some way in my childhood. No, and I just wanted to kind of try and show that, you know. Oh. And as a director, I mean, how, how difficult was it or how enjoyable was it? Do you think that you, because I always think sometimes that actors as directors are always better because they know what's going on in the mind of an actor. I mean, you would hope you can be a, a guide to the actors yeah. because you've obviously been through that process sure. many times yourself. Um, it presents its difficulties, obviously, because you're kind of jumping back and forward behind the camera in front. Um, but because I'd known the thing I'd, so well over the, yeah. the sort of three-year period, uh, and plus the, the performance itself is Barney, it's not, it's not really angst-ridden, you know what I mean? It's not something that's... Um, not to say it's not difficult, mm. you know, but it's not, it's not the most difficult thing to do, yeah. and it's more kind of comedic-type performance, so I didn't have to... You know, there wasn't like lots of tears... So I was able to kind of get through that kind of in a relatively calm way. So balancing the two in the end sort of turned out to be... I mean, it was, it was, it was hugely enjoyable. The, the most enjoyable thing about the whole thing was that five weeks that we shot in Bristol Cross in yeah. June. The rest of it... <laughs> <laughs> the rest of it can be a bit of a nightmare, to be perfectly honest. I had no idea. I mean, I've been doing it for so long as well. I didn't know it took so much. Yeah, to actually... All the, the directors the I've worked with, yeah. I've got... Hats going off to them. No, all good. All you going to do again. more? Do you think you'll direct more? You've got the bug now. Not any time soon. No, <laughs> just give it a wee bit. <laughs> but you're having an amazing career. I mean, you look back at some of the things you've done. It's extraordinary. 